Hey, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the Daily Challenge for June 2nd, 2024. The character at the Ironclad and the modifiers are shiny. Starting deck is replaced with one of every rare card. Vintage, normal enemies drop relics instead of cards. And Night Terrors resting at rest sites heals 100% of your HP, but costs 5 max HP. I'm playing a little later than usual. I uh, had a really bad bout of allergies yesterday. Um... Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's spring in the Northern Hemisphere, and everything is blooming, and that is not going well with my immune system. But anyway, I am feeling better now, um, so I was waiting a little bit um, just to make sure I'm not sneezing all the time. I see Sita here with 1505, and uh, I thought I saw a different name here as well. Uh, yeah, David with 1457 tied with Steven. Uh, actually, David already played, so you can check out his run on Twitch if you want to compare. Um, yeah, let's get started and see how well I can do. So the shiny deck with the ironclad is pretty nice because you have the feed that which should give me max HP. You have the combination of barricade and pervious offering exhume and corruption. So everything looks pretty good. I would like to pick up some more defensive cards though if I can. There's a three lead path. Um, I will have to go on the left. That will give me one, two, three question mark rooms and the choice to go for an early shop if I'm interested. And then after this point, I can go left for another uh, shop. So yeah, once I get to the second lead, I'll decide which path to take. And then, yeah, it's important that I'll try to use the feed as much as I can here. Unfortunately, not the best start. Uh, let's let's start with Demon Form and just I'll take the 11 damage. I don't think there's a reason to play anything else. All right, so here I think I can do Bludgeon. That's 34, and then I should be able to use the feed next turn, right? Yep. Uh, actually, wait, 13, 14. Yeah, that is enough. Um, do I want to do anything else? No, let's just kill with the feed. Okay, that feed is my, might be the first thing to upgrade. We got Riga Pillow, one of you resting an additional 15 HP. Before I take that, I do have the Hexagos at the end. Wait, no, I'm not, I don't, oh, actually with Night, yeah, no, I'm not resting. Okay, fine, so it's it's okay. I just will avoid resting before the boss. We got my first Cursed Doubt here, okay. And then Acid Slime and Spike Slime. Uh, yeah, I can do Offering, and I would like to use the uh, feed twice with the Exhume. So instead of doing Emulate, which will kill this one, I think I'll do Reaper to heal back up. All right, then do Corruption. Okay, so I'll take three damage here, but this will allow me to kill this one with the feed. Okay, yep, there is the feed. Um, I can exhume that feed again, but I also would like to deal damage to the backliner. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll take eight HP damage. I think that's fine. Let's grab the feed here. I won't play it yet, though. I do need to deal a little bit of damage. Not too much. Not. I don't want to kill accidentally. Fiendfire will be 28. That's not enough. So I think instead I will do... Impervious, now this is 21, okay? And then the feed, once I draw the feed again, it'll be enough to kill. Beautiful. All right, up to 89 HP already. We got self for clay. One of you lose HP, gain three block next turn. Really nice with the offering. And then here I got the injury curse, as well as the golden idol, and we store 25% more gold. I don't think I have enough gold for the shop. I think I'll go for the regular question mark from here and then go for the shop at the end. I think that'll be better. So that's a regular fight. Got the lice here again. Would like to use the feed twice. Um... Let's start with Demon Form and accept the damage. Okay. Also, thanks to Self Form Clay, I'll uh, gain six block next turn, which is nice. It is only 12. That's a bummer. Ah, uh, that's not good. I need it to be a little bit more. That's fine. That's fine. I think it's better to gain the max HP early on Act 1 rather than wait. Um, so here, Emulate will kill. Let's do Offering to reshuffle. Okay. There's a Reaper. That is actually not bad. That also healed me quite a bit. All right. Let's do. Wait. If I do Limit Break, it'll be 12. That's still fine, yeah. I think if I do Limit Break, then Reaper, heal back to full. And almost full, okay. And then once I draw the feed, I can kill them easily, even with weakness. Okay. All right, so yeah, there is feed one. Exhume the feed and feed two. Beautiful. 95 HP. Already got the well-fed notifier. We got Kyria. Can I gain strength at rest sites up to three times? An attack potion. And uh, yeah, going this way for the elite. Uh, I Wait, did I have curses? Or, oh, I did have two curses. Um... I might try to go for the curse modifier, so let's skip this. Okay. Got the Grumman knob here. I would love to double tap the uh, bludgeon, but I can't. I can only single tap it. Yeah, not much else I can do. Let's do bludgeon. Okay. Mm -hmm. 14. Uh, this is going to be impossible to perfect unless... I don't know what the attack potion could give me that would allow me to perfect this one, right? Yeah. I don't think there's anything I could have done. So this is 21 versus 28, so I'll do Feed Fire. Is there... I guess if I get another Bludgeon, that might be enough? I mean, when is my next elite coming up? Let's risk it. I mean, I only have one chance. Close line, Blood for Blood or Anger. Yeah, I am just a little bit short. 
Yeah, let's take the blood for blood. That's a shame. At least now I can use the feed still. Alright, wasn't able to prank this one, but I can feed. And actually, a Reaper kills, right? Yeah, let's just to feed. It's okay. It's okay. Can't perfect everything. We got Thread and Needle, Surge Count, Four Plated Armor, which is nice. A Liquid Memory Potion, which might have been useful. Limbeard Trigger, Twin Strike, I think. Trigger is interesting if I can get it upgraded. Without the upgrade, Flameberry might be a little better, especially once I have the Corruption Plate. And then let's go right here. Ooh, here I can use Feed uh, only twice, unfortunately. Let's do Feed 1. And then I can't do uh, the Emulate, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I think I'll wait. It's okay. I'll accept the damage. I think it's fine to take damage. Oh, against the Hexagos, I have to take damage anyway. Oh, and if I go this way, I'll have a shop. So let's see where I stand with my HP against the... Um, Against the last elite, and I can maybe decide to even skip that shop. Alright, so here I can do Corruption and Impervious. Okay. Maybe I should lose HP. Actually, no, I still have at least two regular fights coming up, if not three. Okay. And then here I can exhume the feet. I am weakened, though. That's annoying. Um, well, I should still exhume the feet, I think. Yep. Oh, actually, I can double tap a feed, right? Yeah, let's double tap the feed. Okay. Alright, beautiful. And then, uh, sure, I can do Juggernaut. All right. Mm -hmm. So from Clay will also deal damage thanks to the Juggernaut. Once or twice? I think twice. No, just once. All right. Uh, Reaper to heal back up. Okay. And then Flame Barrier. And I don't think I need to play the Offering because the th uh, the uh, Flame Barrier will kill these two. And then any any attack will kill the Backliner. Uh, or, yeah, Fiendfire does it. Okay. All right. You got Magic Flower. Healing is 50% more effective during combat. That makes my HP worries a little less uh, urgent. We got a letter opener every time. Play three skills in a single turn. Deal five damage to all enemies. Very nice with the Corruption Plate. All right. So I'm starting off with a Great Hand here. I kind of want to start with Offering. I would love to play both Barricade and Corruption, but I have to choose. I think I'll do Corruption. And then I'll double tap the Feed. And I'll just wait to get the Feed back with the Exhume. Okay. All right, another 12 incoming. Uh, yeah, there is the Exhume. Unfortunately, I don't think I have enough. So instead, I'll do Impervious, Emulate. I mean, I will get the Exhume back. Uh, sorry, the Feedback. But um, I have to wait for Reshuffle to be able to deal enough damage. Another 7. Um, I can do Flame Barrier. Let's do Flame Barrier and Demon Form. Okay. All right, so that way, I think once I draw the Feed again, I should be able to kill. Unfortunately, that's not this turn. I can do Reaper. Let's do that. Okay. Yep, to heal back up a little. Actually, I heal back four, and I'm losing four HP there. And there's the feat to kill. Awesome. I got Eternal Feather for every five cards in deck. Heal three HP, one of you enter rest site, which is nice. As well as the Blessing of the Forge. And, uh, okay, Lagavulin. I should have a better chance here. Okay, I was hoping to play some good powers early on. I guess I can just start with the Brutality, which is fine. All right, sorry about that. Let's do Barricade and Berserk here. Okay, hopefully the extra energy would be useful. All right, um, well, I do have Offering Exhume. Let's start with the Offering first, okay? There's a Corruption, that's great, let's do that. And then, um, should I just do Fiendfire? Uh, I would get rid of the Exhume. It's going to be hard to use here. I think I'll do Flame Barrier for sure. Yeah, let's just do Fiendfire here. Um, I mean, Feed does more damage, right? Actually, let's, d no, Double Tapping Fiendfire doesn't work. Uh, let's Double Tap the Feed, okay? And then do Fiend Fire. That also allows me to get rid of the curse. All right. And I am full of defending against the next turn. I still have the Impervious in my draw pile, right? Yeah, there's the Impervious. That's good. Oh, I should have considered doing Juggernaut. Um, instead, I think I'll just do Bludgeon. Okay. All right. This way, I'm defended for at least two turns. And I think I can just slowly kill with the Bludgeon, right? Yeah, there's another Bludgeon here. Should I do Reaper? Uh, no, no, I don't think it matters. Yeah, and then just wait for another Bludgeon. Okay. So yeah, I needed some a turn like this, or like, well, the first turn was not that great, but the second turn was nicer. Should I do Reaper just to heal back a little bit? Fine, let's do Reaper and emulate. Actually, wait, no, what am I doing? I don't want to heal. I want to lose a lot of HP for the Hexagos. That might have been a mistake. We got a pen up every 10th attack you play, deals double damage. There's still Chaos Potion, and second wind is nice to get rid of curses. Gives me some lock. I don't think I need the others as badly. Okay. Yeah, here I can't lose a, a lot of HP as much as I'd like. Let's do Brutality Offering. Okay. And then um, I think I'll do Berserk to be vulnerable. Double tap the feed. Uh, one, two, yeah. Actually, I think double tap the emulate and then kill with the feed. But then I haven't lost any HP, huh? Yeah, fine. At least I get max HP out of it. Okay. That potion belt, I'm picking up gain two potion slots, an essence of steel potion. And yeah, I think I'll skip the shop and go for a regular fight to lose as much HP as possible. Emulate, yeah. Double tapping that emulate would have been great. 
But uh, hang on. I can do a second wind. Let's do... I think I'll do Immolate here. Should I upgrade that? Might be worth drinking the Blessing of the Forge to play the Immolate to deal more damage and then second wind. Okay. I also have a Distilled Chaos Potion. If not weakened, so a feed would be enough to kill one of them. All right. Offering is not bad. Okay. It's bad depending on what I get. I can exhume... What? Another Offering? Let's do Corruption... Then um, exhume. Is it the offering or a flame barrier? Because flame barrier would be enough. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll play it safe and play the flame barrier here. And then let's also do brutality. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then here, yes, I was able to get the feed to kill you. And then I can kill the backliner with a uh, repressure. Okay. All right, I got ancient T set. When we enter rest, I start next combo with two extra energy as well as wild strike, whirlwind, or heavy blade. I, I mean, heavy blade would give me overkill if I get the demon form played. I'm not sure how useful that is. Whirlwind is not bad either. I think I'll take heavy blade, and now I, I think I'll skip the shop, hoping to be able to lose enough HP so that the hexagos fight is not too horrible. So yeah, let me basically just take a bunch of damage. I want to drop down because I heal back nine, not six, right? So I need to drop down not to seventeen, but to um, what is it? Uh, 20, uh, 14, 14, right? Yeah, it's gonna take a while. Alright, I'll speed this up. I'll be right back. I'll do a little bit of damage, but yeah, I'll be right back. Alright, well, I was able to use feed once, and I also am able to get overkill out of the way with the heavy blade dealing 244 damage thanks to the pendip. So, uh, yep, alright, got overkill, got max HP, and I healed back to 21, which is good. We also got bag of marbles at the savage combat apply one vulnerable tall enemies, as well as a blessing of the forge, okay? And then, do I want to upgrade something, or do I want to gain strength? Uh, what would I even upgrade? Um, barricade to make it a little easier to play? No, I think, let me gain strength first, because there's a small chance I might get the Snekowai next, in which case I, I, there's no reason to upgrade the Barricade or the Corruption, so I think I'll try it without upgrading. Also, I still have the Blessing of the Forge, or I got a Blessing of the Forge, right? I don't still have it. I could play the Berserk, that way I'll have extra energy once I upgrade it. I think that is worth it. Let's upgrade this, then do the Berserk, then double tap the Bludgeon. It's a lot of damage. Okay. Alright, next turn I'll have... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. How did I heal? Oh, because of the Eternal Feather. All right, it's 18 incoming. There's nothing I can do other than... If I do second win, it'll get rid of three cards. That's 15 plus four. Okay, that is actually barely enough. Good. All right. And then Heavy Blade got a little lucky there, I have to admit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another six. Uh, okay, I don't have... Wait, I exhausted the Barricade, right? I do have Flame Barrier, which is nice. Let's start with Offering first, though. Okay. And Fiend Fire. Corruption is really tempting. I mean, if I'm fiend firing things, I might as well exhaust them, right? So let's do, let's do flame barrier, limit break, and then I think I'll just do fiend fire. Well, I'm running out of defensive cards, though. That's not good. Okay, I still have the exhume next turn. That might be nice. Ten incoming. I have seven. That's not quite enough. I do have second wind to get rid of the burn. That will give me enough block. So yeah, I think I'll do anything I need to get back. Um, there is. Did I play? No, I didn't play a double tap. Let's exhume the offering then. Uh, right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Bludgeon. Bludgeon is 44. Um, hang on, how do I do this? Uh, yeah, let's definitely do the Bludgeon. Then, actually, yeah, I can feed on this one, right? By doing Emulate Feed. Awesome. All right. 119 max HP. That's not bad for Act 1. Juggernaut Double Tap Berserk. I, I am thinking of, I should go for the Highlander Modifier, right? Because there's no way to get collector bonuses if I'm just gaining cards after Elite. So, yeah, let's skip this one. Although, I don't really think I need a second copy of any of those. And then here, so yesterday I took Coffee Dripper, and that was not good. Um, but I don't want Buster Crown or Revival Choker, so I think I'll have to take it again. I guess with the Magic Flower healing is fairly easy here. So let's say Coffee Dripper again, Energy at the start of your turn. You can no longer rest at rest sites, which is fine. Um, and also, uh, because I have the Reaper, I think I should be able to heal back, the, uh, back up with that Reaper if I need to. All right, multiple two elite paths. If I go on the left side, I'll get one Crush Mark room before the first elite, either of those. And then after that, I'll get... Oh, zero. Okay, so one total. If I go on the right, I'll get one, two, three, four. At least four question mark rooms. So that's good. Yeah, let's go. Let's start this way and then turn right. Okay. All right, got the bird. This one might be a little harder to use the feed on. Uh, but I will try. I don't think I'll do Berserk here. Um, actually, I don't see anything amazing to play other than... 
Yeah, fine. Let's double tap the heavy blade. At least that way I'll have um, double damage active next turn. Actually, I could kill the backliner with the feet if I draw it next turn. Losing my plated armor, but getting a lot of block with the self form clay, so that's good. Okay. Alright, no. Actually, double damage emulate. Yeah, fine. Let's do that. Okay. And then I can do Reaper to heal back up a little. Okay. Alright. Uh, still no feed. Uh, Flame Barrier will kill this one, so let's not do that. Uh, instead, I think I'll just do second wind to defend. Okay. okay. And here I need a feed exhume combo. Uh, come on, feed is at the bottom, of course. Yeah, let's do offering. That's fine. Then do feed, exhume the feed, and then get another feed in. Okay, 125, not bad. We got Molten Egg, one of the added attack into deck upgraded. And then Tropic Brew, which is great with the uh, potion, uh, potion belt. Right, Shelled Parasite. Should I just do Fiendfire here with Vulnerability? Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, I can do Impervious to avoiding any damage and then Fiendfire. Okay. Although, I uh, hard to say if that was the right idea, because it depends on when I'll draw the feed. Uh, let's do Corruption Second Wind. Okay. I have, admit, I, I have to admit that I played the Barricade a very uh, small amount of time so far. Ooh, can I kill with the feed here? That might be a challenge. Let's do Offering first. Um, heavy Blade is 17, Emulate is 22. Uh, let me try this. So Heavy Blade, Emulate. Heat is only 11. That's not quite enough. Let's do Flame Area then. Should I do Berserk? Uh, that'll be 15. No, no, I think that's fine. Let's do Brutality. Come. Okay. I'll wait for the feed. I could have played it and then exhumed it, right? Because I haven't played the exhume yet. But actually, no, there is the feed there. I can do, yeah, Beautiful Bludgeon and then Feed to Kill. Awesome. All right, Frozen Egg, one of you add a uh, power card into your deck, upgrade it. Okay, I really would like a Feel No Pain at this moment. I think that would really make this deck work perfectly. Um, I can't do both Bludgeon and Fiendfire, but I think I'll do I'll do Bludgeon, Berserk, and then Second Wind. That way I'll get rid of the Doubt. Now, unfortunately, I'll be vulnerable next turn, but I also will have double damage. Yeah, beautiful. There's the Feed. That's what I was looking for. Let's kill this one with the Feed, and then do Offering. Okay, should have done the Offering first. And then double tap the Heavy Blade. Uh, let's do Limit Break, double tap Heavy Blade. That's not enough to kill. And then I can do Flame Bear to be fully defended. And that gives me a chance to be able to exhume the feet again. But I will need to deal 36 damage before I do that. Yeah, I don't think I can... Wait. Um, the feed was 10 plus 2, 12, uh, 35. I need 36. I'm one short, I think. Right? Yeah, I think so. All right, let's do Emulate... Let me just make sure I calculate the correct. Yeah, the feed is not upgraded, which is a shame. Um, all right, in that case, um, I'll accept the damage. Just to corruption. I will still bring the feed back, but yeah, it's not enough to kill. Okay. Also play the brutality. That gives me three block next turn. All right. So here I'm waiting for the feed to show up again. Although, yeah, let's do Reaper to heal back up and then kill with the feed. Awesome. I have a lot of max HP. We got Pentograph at the Star Boss Combat Seal, 25 HP as well as Heart of Iron, uh, which is great. I actually am not sure if I need that to play the feed much more often, because even if I get the Apparitions or the Bites, I don't think I'll take them, because I am trying to go for Highlander, so I, I think I'll prob probably stop using the feed. Can I get Combo here? Not really, right? I can get a big Reaper, but I don't think I need that either. Um, hang on, I have 12 incoming. I think I'll just do uh, Bludgeon for 49 and just wait. I'll accept the uh, 8 damage. Hmm. All right, another 14. Um, emulate. And, I mean, if I'm offered to be to play the feed to kill one of them, I think I should take it. Let's also do limit break here. Okay. Mm -hmm. 10 incoming. Uh, I could double tap the Reaper or Flame Barrier. Let's just do Flame Barrier and Reaper. That heals me back to full HP. Mm -hmm. All right. And then here I could do Offering. Sure. Uh, let's also... I could have considered playing the Corruption first. Let's do that. Juggernaut, Berserk, Brutality, and Second Wind to get rid of the Curses. Okay. And then if I really want to, I can exhume the feed. Well, if the game is sort of like pushing it on me, might as well. All right. That Paper Frog, enemies with Vulnerable, take 75% more damage on than 50. That's really nice. And then going left here and then turning right. Bird and Chosen. There's the feed again, which I think I will respectfully decline this time. Let's do Offering. Ah, uh, Flame Bear is great. Would almost kill this one, right? Yeah, I think I'll ignore the feed. Uh, instead, let's do Bludgeon, Flame Barrier... And then, well, actually, I might as well play the feed, but feed the backliner. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that was 20 damage. Beautiful. All right. And then here, emulate is not quite enough because I'm weakened, right? Um, I guess I can do here. Uh, yeah, let's do Juggernaut and then emulate. 
And then, yeah, gaining plated armor will kill this one. That Vajra Strike come with one strength. That's really nice. I think because I have limited break, I should use Giria more often. Okay, this one might be a challenge. I do have a great set of potions. Second Wind would get rid of two cards. That's only 10 block, 14 total. So I somehow need to kill the Backlander, which I can. Okay. Can't complain if I can get by this without using any potions yet. Mm -hmm. All right, 19. Um, let's... I think I'll start with the Corruption, then Offering. Come. Okay. Uh, there's Reaper. Unfortunately, it's not quite enough. Um, i double tap it. I think I'll double tap... And then play the, the Still Chaos Potion. So Berserk, Limit Break, and Barricade. Okay, not exactly what I had in mind. That's not good. Uh, can I Liquid Memories back something? Yeah, I can Liquid Memories back the Bludgeon. But then I still need to depend against 10. What if I get back the Second Wind? That will get rid of 1, 2, 3 cards. That's 15 block. But I still need to kill this one, which I could do with the... F no, I can't do with the Fiend Fire. Uh-oh. This is not good. Yeah, that Berserk was not what I needed. Um, so if I bring that bl the Bludgeon, I'm weakened. That's not even going to be enough to kill that one, right? So it has to be the second wind. But the second wind will only get rid of three cards. That's 15 plus four. So 19. And then I have to still kill one of these. So that means I have to play more than drink more than one potion. Um, yeah, fine. I think I, I still think it's it's better to use the second wind. Mm -hmm. Play that. Yep. Okay, and then yeah, you know what? Let's drink all of these in Tropic Brew as well. Okay, there's a fire push. That's not quite enough. Wait. Uh, so I need 28 right now. I have 23. Oh boy, it's not good at all. Um, let me drink the power potion, bear kid, corruption, brutality. I do have Barricade and Corruption, actually, both of them. Yeah, fine, might as well do this. Then do the Gambler's Brew. Okay. Exhume. All right, Exhume might do something. Let's Exhume the Offering, I think. Okay. All right, there's Impervious and Flame Beer. Okay, good, that's exactly what I needed. And I can do Emulate. All right, that required me to use a lot of potions, but I was actually able to feed on one of them, too. Okay, and now I'm fine. Yeah, basically I had to use lots of potions, but I was able to perfect this one. Hopefully I won't need those potions for the boss fight. Let's just kill this one. And come. We got a uh, pair up and pick up race from HP by 10. All right, wow, already 153 max HP. A region push, which I probably will remove the first thing I can. Monster Shockwave Headbutt. Shockwave might be interesting. I have the energy to support it. And then, yeah, let's gain strength here. Actually, upgrading the offering might not be a bad idea still. Yeah, that's my, that might be something I want to do. Here, let's take a power potion, get rid of this, take the gambler's burn. I think I'll get rid of the... Actually, Blessing of the Forge might be... No, no, let's keep the weakness potion. Okay. All right. And then here I got Ink Bottle. One of you play 10 cards, draw one card. Mm -hmm. All right. Sentry and Sphere Guardian. I haven't hit a single shop yet, right? That might be something I would like to do soon. Let's do Offering, and then I think I'll double tap the Immolate. One of them will be double damage. I think that'll be enough to kill, right? 48. Beautiful. Okay. Toxic Egg, one of you add a skill into deck, upgrade it. Another power potion. I think I'm happy with the potions I have. I don't think I need two power potions, although who's my final boss? Um, yeah, fine. Let's get rid of the fire potion, take the power potion. If I get an early barricade, a free barricade, that might be useful. All right, another card to draw. Is there a... No, I don't see anything useful. Um, dual wield might be interesting. I do have the energy and a few great powers I would like to duplicate. Power through is also a great defensive card, and I'm a little low on defenses, so let's take it. Especially once I play the Corruption, I might exhaust cards too quickly. All right, so can I do anything here? I can weaken it down to eight. Yeah, see, I need the Metallicize here. Actually, let me see if one of the power potions gives me a Metallicize. It doesn't. It does give me a Corruption, Demon Form, Fire Breathing. I guess I'll take the Corruption to play the sh uh, Free Shockwave. Um, yes. And then let's use the Gambler's Brew. Okay. Uh, impervious. I mean, I have to play that. It's just unfortunate. Uh, here, I'll just do Bludgeon. It's unfortunate because, um, I don't have the Barrier Kit active. That's fine. I will draw another, uh, uh, card there. I already have the Corruption. No need to play that again. Let's do Offering first. Okay. I need 12. So, Second Wind. Uh, I need to get at least two cards. Yeah, I can get these two. I don't think I can do Berserk. Let's do Brutality. Might as well do Juggernaut. Might as well do Limit Break, okay. Then um, Emulate and Second Wind, okay. Mm -hmm. So far, so good. All right, 15 incoming. Oh, this is great. Um, 
yeah, have a nice defensive fire. Actually, I think fiend fire is enough. Actually, I can also double tap the uh, feed. Beautiful. All right, perfect. This one, I got Red Skull. While your HP is at or below 50%, you have three additional strength. That is actually really nice. And I have a lot of max HP, so I can. I should probably drop a lot of HP soon. Got an Essence of Steel Potion. I already have the second wind. Don't need the Perfected Strike. Let's take the Cleave for some nice AoE damage. And yeah, let's just lose HP. Let's try to trigger the Red Skull. I think I can safely drop down to, like, uh, what do I need? 78? So I can drop down to, like, the 60s, and that should still be fine. Um, this kills the backliner, right? And also makes me vulnerable, which is fine. Yeah, I don't mind taking more damage. Also, let's be... Oh, I should have played the Brutality. I would have dealt more damage. Yeah, I think I'll speed this up. I'll be back when I'm at around 60 HP. Uh, I accidentally killed. I forgot that the enemy was vulnerable. All right, fine. You got Shuriken every time. Three, three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. I still have a chance to lose HP here. Yep, let's do that. So, again, I'll speed this one up. I'll be right back. I dropped down to 48, which was somewhat by accident, but I think that's fine. And I don't want to play Reaper because, actually, yeah, it might heal me back too much. I'm actually okay with being at 48. This one should be easily killed. And, um, yeah, I can actually... Let's do... Well, Emulate will... Hang on. I can do Feed to kill you and then do Emulate. All right. Beautiful. Okay, 61. That's good. We got Ceramic, ceramic Fish. When we add a card to deck, gain 9 gold. Not super useful, but I'll take it. And then, yeah, I think I'll, uh, I'll rest... It, I'll, um, what do you call it? Use Giria again, um, and I'm sort of hoping to get Snicko Eye. I'll make my life easier, but if I don't get it, then I can start upgrading the Barricade and the um, Corruption. Okay, this is not a bad start. Let's drink the Strength Potion. I, I think I'll also see what the Power Potion gives me. Well, there is a free Barricade. I don't think I need Inflame. I think I'll take the free Barricade here. That way I don't have to play this Barricade. Let's do Offering. Also, mostly because I don't like the other cards. Corruption is nice. It's a little early, but I already have Barricade. Let's do Limit Break. And then I can do Bludgeon for 77. That's pretty good. Oh, wait. How did I heal back up? Okay, well, I didn't have the extra strength from the Red Skull, but that's fine. And I might as well do Reaper here. Or should I do... Wait, Cleave is more damage, right? Let's do Cleave. Come. Mm -hmm. All right, everyone is attacking me. Luckily, I do have all my defensive cards together. That's really nice. Power through, Flame Barrier. And let's also do Brutality. I think I will skip the Berserk, though. Mm-hmm. Alright, yeah, that early barricade was important, and I, I played the power potion just to be safe. I didn't really need to play that. I think I'll do Juggernaut here, then Shockwave. Uh, anything I need to exhume? Let's exhume the offering just to be safe. I guess I could have exhumed the, um, what do you call it, the Impervious as well. Then Emulate to kill the minions, and then Fiend Fire to get rid of the curse and also kill. Beautiful. Alright, perfect. This one was fairly straightforward. We got, uh, yeah, none of these again. Trying to go for Highlander. And then Calling Bell, I'm going to pick up between Unique Curse and Three Relics. Yeah, that's Curse number, uh, Unique Curse number three. Curse of the Bell, as well as the Boot. Whenever you deal four or less, unlock the tank damage, increase it to five. Question card, future card rewards, and one additional card to choose from. And Fossilized Helix, prevent the first time you lose HP each combat. That's really good, although will interfere with the offering. Don't know Deca at the end. That should be straightforward. Time-wise, I think I could do this in less than 45. Three lead path on the left, with unfortunately only one, two... Two question mark rooms to the late shop. If I go on the right and get the one elite path, I can get a total of six, seven question mark rooms. But I think I'll maximize the question mark rooms. If I get the normality event, though, I won't be able to get Highlander and Curses, right? So, well, let's see what happens. Uh, here, I think I'll do Corruption, um, Berserk, then Impervious. Or should I do Power Through? Let's do Power Through, sure. Save the Impervious for later. Come. Okay. I'm vulnerable this turn. That's a lot of incoming. I was hoping I could kill something here. I can't. I can't double tap the Reaper, though. Actually, well, it doesn't make sense to do that. Let's double tap the Feed to kill one of them. Um, which one? Uh, doesn't matter. The Backliner. Okay. And then I can do Fiend Fire to deal damage to this one. Okay. I'll lose one of my buffers and then take 10, 12 damage, which is fine. And then here, uh, let's do Shockwave Cleave Offering. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Exhume. Uh, do I have something that deals double damage? Reaper, I guess? Sure, that also heals me back up. Uh, not double damage, sorry. I meant AoE damage. Uh, can I play another three skills? No. Um, so I guess I'll just Barricade and Brutality. Okay. Mm -hmm. Backline is coming back to life, which is annoying. I do have double damage, so the, impervi or the Emulate will be enough. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think I'll just do that, right? Okay. Got an Chaku. Oh, I forgot to read it. Every time you play 10 attacks, gain extra energy, which is great. I should also try to lose a lot of HP to trigger the Red Skull again, right? Yeah, let's try to do that. Uh, maybe this is the right fight to do that in. Um, so I think I'll just do Fiend Fire to deal a lot of damage. 
and then I'll wait and I'll be I'll be back when I'm uh, maybe around 40 HP again. Yep, and I can feed here again. Beautiful. So I'm down up to 52. We got Centennial Puzzle. The first time I lose HP each combat, draw three cards. A Flex Potion, which is great. And then here, oof, I have to lose one of these. You know what? I think I'm ready to lose the feed because I already have so much max HP. I don't think I need more. So let's get rid of that. Mostly because I really like the other two cards, though. All right, got the Spikers and the Sphere Guardian. I do have Barricade and Corruption together. Um, I think I'll do Barricade here. I think that seems more important than do Power Through, and I can't play the Cleave, but um, I'm hoping to play the Emulate soon. Okay. All right, 17. Uh, no Emulate, nothing to Exhume. I guess I can do Limit Break, Exhume the Limit Break. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, 28 Strength is pretty nice. And then I could do Reaper. That will deal a little bit of damage back to me. But then also heal me for too much. That might be a problem, right? Uh, let me instead just do Juggernaut and Shockwave. Okay. Alright. Yeah, by just gaining block... Oh, actually, I'm losing the buffer here, which is fine. And then... Uh, oof, okay, Bludgeon is not actually enough to kill the backliner, huh? Now yeah, let's still do it. And uh, yeah, fine. I guess I'm losing more HP. Just want to make sure I can trigger that Red Skull, right? Yeah, that's the reason. Let's Let's pretend that. There is the emulate. I would like some extra block before I play it. Let's do offering first, then second wind, and then um, emulate is enough to kill everything, right? Beautiful. All right, got round scale, side scroll, three thorns, a fear potion, which is fine. And then here, uh, you know what? I don't think I need two weakness potions, and I probably don't need the fear potion. Let's take the attack and... No, let's take the power and skill potion instead. That skill potion might give me a defensive card when I need it. All right, Nemesis um, here. Let's do... Uh, yeah, I guess I'll lose the buffer by playing the Offering, which is fine. And then, actually, Fiendfire. Wait, 24 times... That's actually pretty good. Let's exhume the Offering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's because of the extra strength. And then I can do Limit Break, and now this is 36 times uh, definitely enough to kill, right? Beautiful. Perfect this one. Now, Juju Base of Normal Enemy Combats are no longer encountered in Question Mark Rooms. An Ancient Push, which I don't think I'll take. Body Slam, Steering Blow, Flex, or Clash. I don't think I need any of these. Maybe Flex, that's a stretch. I should pick up cards to get to at least 35 cards. So I guess I'll take the Flex. I don't feel super happy with that decision, though. All right, got the Maw here. Let's... Uh, no card draw. Let's start with Corruption. And then I guess I'll do Cleave. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then 25. Um, well, I can do Juggernaut, Shockwave... Limit Break. Will it defend with the uh, Power Through together with the Plate Armor? Can't play the Berserk, though. I will take a bunch of damage that way. Another 6. Okay, yeah. If I do Offering, I'll lose. It's fine, it's fine. I can do Offering and then Second Wind. Uh, yeah, there's Barricade. Exhume the Offering again. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think I'll avoid uh, Reaper, though. Let's do Flame Barrier. Second Wind is nice. Uh, actually, can I double tap the Heavy Blade? Yeah, let's do that. Is that enough to kill? That's a lot of damage. Actually, in the Fiend Fire kills here, I don't have to worry about the rest. Okay. A prayer will normal enemy, so I'm initial card to ward. That's kind of funny. <laughs> and then Heart of Iron, which is great. Probably better than the Flex Potion. I do like the Flex Potion, but of these uh, of these potions, the Flex Potion was probably the least useful one. Alright, double damage active here. Uh, let's do Emulate instead of Reaper, because I don't want to heal too much accidentally. And then Fiend Fire is a lot of damage again. Yeah, I just need 30 next turn. Um, and I cannot do that. I thought I'll be able to do that, but instead let's do Barricade and Power Through. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, can I deal 13 now? Uh, yes, I can with the Cleave. Beautiful. Perfect, this one I got Art of War. If you do not play any attacks in your turn, get additional energy next turn. And then, yeah, Upgraded Trigger is really good. I think I'll take it here. Mm -hmm. Combust would have been interesting too. We got a Kabiko first attack, each combat does additional damage. Okay. And then I want to go left for another Elite, right? Yeah, it's just disappointing I got so few question mark rooms on this act. Another Nemesis fight. With 18 incoming and I have Fiendfire again. Let's try Offering. Alright, there's the Exhume Offering again. Okay. And I got the Limit Break. Uh, yeah, yeah, why not? I mean, sure. Okay, we got Turner. We can no longer become Frail. Another Flex Potion I don't need. And I already have this. Of the other, Seeing Red might be okay. I don't really need it, but let's take it. Sometimes it's useful. Not that I really have an energy problem, but I'll accept it. All right, transient. This one killed me yesterday, so uh, let's uh, let's uh, make sure I don't die again. This time, I think I'll I will save the buffer. That will save me basically a turn. Uh, impervious is enough here. Let's. Uh, I don't need to play the cleave, although I could just to get pen pen up closer to ten. Mm -hmm. 
And then here, let's do... Um, what should I do here? Let's do Flex Limit Break. And then I think I'll do Barricade and lose my buffer here. This is at the start of your turn. Yeah, so I can safely play the um, Brutality as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here, let's do... Uh, bludgeon is enough. Do I need to do anything else? Not really, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, let's wait. Just have to worry about next turn, and the enemy's not vulnerable next turn. 70 incoming. Yeah, there's a fiend fire though. Um, let's double tap the bludgeon just to be safe. Okay. Alright, no problems here. Yesterday, this was a really rough fight for me. And Ma Bank, when you climb the floor, gain 12 gold, and no gold works when you spend any gold at a shop, which is unfortunate because I have a shop coming up very soon. Here, let's upgrade. Because I didn't get Sneko, I think I'll upgrade either Corruption or Barricade. Let's start with the Barricade upgrade because I think that'll be very important, especially with the Heart of Iron Essence of Steel potions I have. And then here, let's just buy everything, right? That's my first shop. I did get a Field No Pain. That's huge. Yeah, let's take that. Then take Bird Face Earn. Whenever you play Power Card, heal 2 HP. Stone Count that at the end of turn 7, deal 52 damage to all enemies. And Clockwork to near stage, come with one artifact. Let's also grab an Armament, Battle Trance. Unfortunately, I have the others already. Trip. And there's no chance of getting curses, so I think I'll remove one of the curses. Which one do I like least? Probably the Doubt. Okay. And then let's also... I'm actually pretty happy with the potions I have, so I don't think I'll take anything else. Do I want Transmutation? I have the gold. Sure, let's take it. Who knows? Maybe I have a chance of getting the uh, combo modifier with that Transmutation. It is possible, theoretically. Alright, so here let's do... Oh, actually, I want to lose HP again to trigger the Red Skull, right? Yeah, let's make sure I, that happens. Let's do Corruption, Limit Break... And then, um, you know what? I don't think I'll do anything. Let's just Brutality. I could play the Flame Barrier, but I'd rather take damage. I actually think I'll let these Exploders explode too. Will that be too much? That might be a little too much. I have to be a little careful. I also have double damage soon. Um, Rockwave, Reaper. Reaper will kill these two, right? <sighs> this is annoying. No, I think I'll accept the damage. Let's just do this. Maybe I'll do Juggernaut just to deal a little bit of damage on the side. Okay, I'll do Berserk as well. And then Second Wind... Yeah, let's do Barricade in second wind, not to lose too much HP. Okay. Yeah, just because this one will explode and deal 30 damage. So I'll lose my block. But yeah, I do want to lose HP, so I don't want to I don't want to lose too much or have too much block. So yeah, I think I th I'll speed this up. I'll be back with... Um, I do have a rest side, right, where I'll heal another 18. So I think I should drop down to the 40s again. Yeah, I think that's the right approach. Actually, let's try Transportation here. Let me first get rid of the Bludgeon, then do Transportation... Okay, I don't think there's anything I can do here to get uh, overkill. Or a uh, combo, I mean. Yeah, that's the one thing I missed. Uh, I think overkill would have been theoretically possible. But, um, yeah, I think I needed corruption from a potion or something like that. Yeah, alright, so I'll, I'll be right back when I have uh, uh, one. I think these ones will die from my um, juggernaut, right? Mm, that's a back That's annoying. I don't think I can lose much more HP. Yeah, fine, let's just kill. I did. Oh, actually, no, Pendip is ready. We got Mango up and pick up Racer Max HP by another 14. 176 Max HP. Yeah, all right, fine. Um, I think next I'll upgrade the Corruption. No, let's upgrade the Offering. Yeah, that's pretty important too. All right, I think with just the potions time-wise, I'm doing fine. Let's drink the Heart of Iron, the Essence of Steel Potion, and then um, I will see what the Power Potion gives me. Fire Breathing, Metallicized, Berserk. Not a huge fan, but I will take the Metallicized. Okay, so I have 17 block every turn. That's pretty good. Um, let's upgrade everything. I think I'll save the Impervious for later. Um, I don't want to do Brutality. Let's do Demon Form. And, uh, great. Two, or, well, Berserk and Brutality. Ah, uh, boy. Um, I think I'll just stop here. Let me see what the Skill Potion gives me. Bloodletting, Spot Weakness, Battle Trance. Let's do Battle Trance. I was really hoping for a Barricade here. I guess I'll do Transportation. Metamorphosis is fine. Okay, I see some good attacks. And then Forethought, let's put the Impervious and Flame Barrier and uh, Brutality back, okay? Alright. So I still have two minutes. Mm -hmm. And I still have one buffer. 26 incoming. Feel No Pain is pretty good. Let's do that. Then Flex. Try to do Juggernaut. Let's do Battle Trance first. Okay, there's the Barrier key. That's really good. And then I think with the Fiend Fire, I'll be able to fully defend and also deal a lot of damage. Hang on. So I have... 17, I need another uh, 9, so I need to exhaust 3 cards uh, without playing the uh, Iron Wave. So I think I can do Limit Break and then... Oh no. I f wait, wait, did I mess up? I do have Iron Wave, which does deal a lot of damage. And then I can do Fiend Power. Okay, phew, phew, that's good. Alright. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now that I have barricade, I think it should be easier. Things should be easier. I think I can also do the offering here. All right. And then uh, let's do trip, shockwave. Okay, corruption is nice. Um, I can double tap the cleave. Mm -hmm. And then headbutt, uh, what, a bludgeon back? Sure. Oh, I shouldn't have played that. That was silly. At least I can finish on time, though, so that's good. Um, should I do Seeing Red, Emulate, and Whirlwind? Yeah, that is enough. Beautiful. All right, perfected every of the uh, all of the bosses, but I think I missed the first elite. 1432, which is not bad. So let's see. Uh, out of the uh, eight elites, I perfected seven, so I just missed the Act 1 elite. Got Beyond Perfect. Overkill was fairly easy. I like Shiny was, of course, very easy with the uh, Vintage Modifier. I didn't get uh, 35 cards. I did reject a few, but um, I think my biggest mistake was not going for a shop early on. Uh, Highlander was easy. Lightspeed was fairly doable. Stuff was very easy with all the relics uh, and the feet, of course. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I guess combo would have been doable. I'm, I'm not sure what else I could have tried to go. That first elite seems very difficult. I guess with the right card draw, I might have been able to perfect that one. Let's see where that puts me in the rankings. Oh, uh, okay, not that far up. All right, I'm 34th right now, tied with a few others. Very upset, including. All right, so um, it looks like, yeah, David and Steven were able to get another 25 points more. I wonder how that happened. Maybe an extra perfected elite, or maybe just um, getting combo somehow. I guess... Wait, I had Corruption. What did I need for combo? I guess I just needed more skills, really. Yeah, either the lead or combo. One of those two things. And then another 25 points on top of that would be... Um, wait, no. Sita got 1505. That is... Wow, that is 75 points more than me. I'm really stumped what, what that could be. I guess combo, um, another elite perfected, and what else? Maybe with the different RNG... If I had gone for a shop in Sigabdian, right. Actually, that that probably that is more likely. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Steve, Steven and David were able to get in Sigabdian. Yeah, yeah. So lots of good options. I am happy that I was able to su survive. The last few days were a little rough. Uh, this was a fairly fun run. But yeah, I'm curious to see in the comments what you did. So let me know there. And uh, yeah, let's review the scores from yesterday. All right, so yesterday was a silent run with the all-star modifier that gave you one rare card, the panache, uh, as well as red cards and binary. I think most people did really poorly. There are a few people who did really well. You can check out David's Twitch stream. He ended up with 12.55, which is pretty much a perfect score. Perfected five of the six elites, all the bosses, and most impressively, was able to do that without any rare cards. So was able to go for Popper, remove that panache from the all-stars. And yeah, that's really impressive because I th I don't think I stood a chance at all. Um, now, David could have had an extra 50 points more um, if he played a little faster. And also, if he uh, didn't remove an extra curse at the end, that would have allowed him to get the Encyclopedian modifier. Um, but yeah, that's really... Really impressive um, and that's even considering that David was sick and I believe is still sick today um, so he mentioned he had a cold and um, yeah actually uh, that reminded me that when I got my first job I got super lucky we had uh, vacation days and sick days were the same thing so uh, the first like five years or so I pretty much never got sick during the work week I, I usually like started getting sick on Friday and then I was sick all weekend and then on Monday I was starting to feel better and went back to work and uh, yeah that's that's funny because one of my co-workers uh, she basically had the opposite like she had to use all of her vacation days for sick days because she had she was getting sick on like tuesday and had to skip work um so yeah i i uh, i hope that david recovers soon that he doesn't miss too many uh, too many sick days although i guess i guess uh in the uk i believe you get sick days separate from uh from uh holidays anyway yeah congratulations really good score from david there then you have rope with 1207 um, and then no scores here. In the top 100, you have PGM with 11.59 and CTA with 11.57. And then most other commenters died. Uh, so you have Melzan who died. Um, and he mentioned that he feels betrayed by Snekowai um, because he had really bad randomization against the Reptomancer and then barely survived with a little HP. And then against the Maw, the next fight, he drew the regret on turn one, dropped down to one HP, and then had no way to defend on turns two. Uh, on turn two. I think that was a big attack on turn two yesterday from the Maw. Uh, still mentioned that he likes Snekowai and... Uh, uh, hailed Sneko, uh, but yeah, that, that can definitely happen. Uh, Malzahn also took Runic Dome, which is really risky, and uh, yeah, I mean, I'm impressed he was able to get to where I got, basically, with the Runic Dome. Um, and uh, yeah, he also mentioned that he had, he was offered some good rare cards, uh, and he mentioned that it would have been a pretty good run if it was not for that, that one unlucky turn uh, against the Reptomancer. Then you also have Super Nintendo, who died to the Act 2 boss. Now, Super Nintendo had an early Wraith form, uh, which was great. I, I didn't, I mean, that's a great rare card to have, right? I never saw one. Um, but ultimately, he didn't have enough damage to kill before the int intangibility ran out. And so, yeah, he ended up dying. Um, and then I died to the transient. Let's actually skip to my score. 
Oh, right, because yesterday I didn't have internet, so uh, my run wasn't recorded. Uh, but yeah, so I uh, died to the Act 3 transient. Um, I just didn't have enough damage. I was able to perfect everything on Act 1, the two elites and the bomb boss, but then after afterwards everything uh, was really hard to perfect. And then I also tried to go for rare cards. I abandoned Popper early on, but I didn't see any good rares. And then, yeah, Ole pointed out that this, yesterday's run and the run before were very difficult. But yeah, today's should have been easier. Let me know in the comments what you did, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.